So, here I have the gearbox out of the Sunbeam Alpine. Now, this front bit is known as the bell housing because it's kind of bell shaped. And this is the bit that bolts onto the engine itself. The actual gearbox itself is only this little portion in the middle. That's where all the actual gears are. But because this is a special overdrive gearbox, as in it has an overdrive gear situated in here, this is a special extra unit made by Laycock. And this was quite common in the 50s and 60s where people wanted to drop the overall engine revs when the car was going at 60 or 70 miles per hour. So rather than the engine sort of straining away at 4,000 revs, this would drop it down by 10 or 15%. Now, this unit was always an option on Sunbeam Alpines, so I think it's probably original. But what I want to do is check that this part of the gearbox is working okay. I'm going to have to take a bit of a chance on the overdrive unit. This solenoid will normally work, but sometimes these can get a little bit gummed up with old oil and stuff. But if I just turn the input shaft to the gearbox now, I can feel that there, there's nothing too notchy in there and there's not too much play, so that's a good sign. So I want to select first gear, so there we go. So now I've selected first gear, I'm turning the input and the output is turning slowly. Okay, nothing untoward there, can't feel anything bad. Into neutral, second gear, the output is turning slightly more quickly now. Still can't feel anything bad, that's good. What I'm looking for is any notchiness where there might be a tooth missing off the gearbox. Into third. Okay, the output's turning even more quickly now. No notchiness there. Into fourth, and there we go. So now I'm turning the input shaft and the output shaft is turning at exactly the same speed, a ratio of one to one. One input, one output. Now what the overdrive does is change that ratio so for every single turn I'm putting in it will be more than one turn out but unfortunately without energizing this solenoid I can't really check that I need oil pressure in here for that to actually operate so what I'm going to do is take off the gear selector I'm going to have a look in the gearbox and see if I can see any little chips on the teeth or anywhere on the teeth that would preclude us from using this gearbox again Right, there's the gear selector mechanism. See when I move it forwards and backwards, that little rod moves forwards and backwards and then sideways as well. And that gives me all my selection in here. Right, so here are the selector rods. See if I move them in and out like that. That one's reverse, it's a bit stiff actually. So I've selected a gear there, now into neutral, got another gear selected there, oh too far, I didn't want to go, that's first. That's second. This is third. And fourth. So inside here is where those gears are. Looking at one gear at a time, I'm just spinning it round. Looking at all of the gears in here, I can't see any chipped teeth at all, which is good news. Very good news indeed. And also I can just see the little phosphor bronze synchromesh rings. There's still enough meat left on those to operate. So actually, I'm gonna take a chance on this gearbox. Let's give it a try. So all I'm gonna do is give it some fresh oil and a bit of a clean up on the outside. <laughs> 